Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This time we're going to be covering things you might have missed. In this video I'm going to be covering uh, basically things that uh, you just might have overlooked, they didn't really cover, anything like that. So, uh, number one, we're going to begin off with this. The first one that I want to go over is Prestige Summary. Alright, so when you first go into Prestige Summary, you see at the very top it says Agio Prestige Points. Now, I don't know about anyone else, but in the beginning of this game, or throughout uh, at least five regions of this game, I didn't know that if you hit, if you do the scrolls thing, like at the top it says R1, L1, whatever system you're using is basically what it's going to be, but hit R1, and there's another list, Ungio Prestige Points. I had about 25 of these, and it covers an entirely different amount of abilities that you can level up, and you get a, a bunch of points from different titles in both of these. So you can basically go over it, either one of these, and you'll see titles obtained on e are different on each of them, and your reputation is also different. You can get points on either one. At the bottom you can see different uh, different titles for gold earned in this one, Amrita earned in this one, luck, item drop rate. So uh, yeah, don't don't overlook that. That'll that'll give you a little bit of a boost. You can get toughness on the other one, and uh, that helps out a lot. So that's uh, number one. Number two in this game, um, so you might or might not have seen it already, but if you go into Amarino Memories, go into Character Directory, you can see that all of these uh, are mostly covered, and you can see exactly how to unlock these people, at, to play with them, basically, or anything like that. You can you just have to complete certain missions just to, you know, basically unlock them if you want to transform into them. Or anything like that. Another thing you can look up um, in the yokai illustrations. These aren't available during the gameplay. These are only available in the in the world map. But if you scroll to like let's say the very end or anything like that, you can come across these different enemies. And with each enemy that you take on, the amount of times you take them on, you you get more uh, tips on how to beat them. As you can see in this one, powered by spikes set by Kelly, the skeleton will be difficult to defeat in normal battles. Invert the power of the spikes to give yourself the advantage in combat. And so on and so forth. You'll see Ogress, you have to, to unlock the third tip, you have to defeat her three times. And this is how it kind of works with the mo most of the enemies in this game. You get more tips, and you can kind of figure out their uh, weaknesses, or any even how to beat them. It'll help you out a lot. Uh, if you're struggling, it's good to... You know, it kind of sucks that you're not able to read them right off the bat when you actually need the help. But if you want to go back and cover them, maybe if you're going to help someone else, or if you're going into a Twilight mission with, you know, these bosses as their end game, you'll know how to beat them easier. Obviously, with uh, all these, you get different things. Uh, I think the only th there's not a whole lot available except for the Amarita, and you can go through all this in the actual gameplay. This is really one of the few men menus you get. When you get the ones with the pictures and such as you're going through stuff like this, um, those are only available during the world map. You can go over, you know, certain things that will give you kind of a, more of a background on these, uh, on these spirits or whatever. You can go into their divinity movies just to see exactly how you unlock them or what person they kind of represented throughout the thing and everything like that. Status menu. Okay, so I'm not sure. It, this is kind of the same concept of the menu scrolling. There's a lot of things in this game that'll give you the menu scrolling, and yeah, I did change. I did change my character just for fun. Uh, I might. I'm probably gonna change back soon. But menu scrolling. Go over. You can see more stats. <laughs> Goes over your proficiencies. Again, special effects. All of your special effects that you currently have. Uh, your current uh, guardian spirit. Your online info. <laughs> All of this is uh, is basically uh, what, what you can go through. If you hit start as well, I'm sure it, if you went through this or options for the PS4, it'll kind of tell you more about things that you didn't know, like toughness or anything like that. You can kind of just go through, figure out what these actually affect. Kind of helpful. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's a good little tip right there. I'd say, I'd think. Well, it's not something I noticed right off the bat, but maybe you did. That's number four. Moving on. Um, the equipment menu. We're going to put two things into this one. We'll make this number five. 
Same, uh, same concept with the menu scrolling. Hit L2, you can kind of get uh, details on these weapons. Hit L2, hit L2 again if it has a special uh, ability, like such as Saikai's Yata Garsu. <laughs> Sorry, butchered it. But if you hit that, you'll get a set bonus instead of a uh, description first. You hit it again, you get the description. You hit it again, you go back to the regular menu. Another thing, when you're going through these, uh, we're going to compare. If you see this weapon and you're like, oh, but I, I see my attack uh, is 597 on the other one. It's 596 on this one, or 569 on this one. But what's the actual comparison? You hit R2, you can see the one you actually have currently equipped. Uh kind of gives you a better version uh this also works when you're buying and selling when you're forging um anything like that for armor it's very helpful because it doesn't really give you a good uh comparison as you could say especially when you're forging if you're forging you're not going to really see what your other thing is it won't tell you if it goes up or down because it doesn't know because you haven't crafted it yet so this is a good little way to do it if you're planning on forging something that you might have passed up the spirit stones as you can see um, these are, there are certain set that you can use during bat battle, usually large spirit stone, um, small, so, so, or not small so, soul stones, sorry. Uh, basically the spirit stones are the ones that you want to use if you're going into battle. Uh, you'll know, you know that they give you the guardian spirit. I don't know if you noticed, but they also give you Amarita, because Amarita is actually what powers your guardian spirit. When you get more of it, when you get them, you get it from items, you get everything like that. That, basically when you use these, they give you Amarita, but they also get power up your Guardian Spirit to let you use your uh, living weapon form. Not sure if you noticed, that is a, uh, that's my little small tip that I'm going to throw in there, and uh, yeah, that's number six. Number seven, and this one you probably know. So if you go into system, you're going to go down to, or you're going to go to basic game settings. And at the bottom, you'll see display headgear. Well, if you turn this off, uh, you don't see your headgear, and neither do people that you help in Tori Gate or people you summon. Kind of not the uh, most intricate things you don't know, but there it is. Number eight. So I've gone over this before in another uh, video with the blacksmith, but if you hit dialogue, you'll notice that there's requests. Uh, Muramasa is someone you get eventually, but when you spend enough money soul forging or buying from this person, you get these uh, patronage levels and you can use them to give yourself discounts. A little uh, incentive to buy more from the blacksmith. Number nine. I've also gone over this one, but I'm going to put it in here anyway. In the crafting, very top, as you'll see. Uh, you'll, no you'll notice that the 34, 30, 22, 11, 33. This changes. Uh, when you put in different materials, you'll notice gold goes higher. Purple goes higher. Uh, you can't go any more than the recommended things, but that's your percentage on getting a purple item for just doing the amount that it says. Uh, a little tip. Uh, you have to get a purple, but, you know, throwing that out there. And finally... Number 10. This one uh, is more obvious when you actually get it, but the trade. You can trade for swords, and for the most part, you get special ones or anything like that from anything that you choose. You can get poses, you can get transforms. This is also where you go, or this is also where you go to transform. And as well as clan battles. The clan battle results, uh, which tally. Um, Basically every week, I'd say. Well, it gives you bonuses. Everything you contribute, everything you do, they'll uh, give you a little bonus at the end. I could do more with putting in more effort, but I don't want to. Anyway, that's my video uh, for Neo on 10 things you might have overlooked. Might, have no might not know. Anyway... This, uh, hopefully y'all enjoy, hopefully something that was in here has shocked you, or you realized something that you didn't know before, and yeah, I'll see y'all next time.